Hey everyone, it's Decade Matter back again, and uh, this is a tutorial on how to use OBS or Open Broadcast Software in conjunction with uh, Hapage's uh, capture software for the HD PVR2 to use it to stream to Twitch TV without using uh, Hapage's built in Stream EEZ program, which is really glitchy and inconsistent quality. So it's best just to bypass it with OBS, and here's how you do it. So, as you can see, I'm using a dual monitor setup. This method will work with a single monitor, but it might be more tough to do, so I would highly recommend using dual monitor. I've got my HDTV hooked up here, along with my laptop's screen itself. And, uh, as you can see over here, we got the PS3 playing. Silent Hill for the room, and uh, my HDTV, I like to set the resolution to, I don't know if you can see that, but it's set to 1080p, and the reason I do this is because I like to maximize the Hapage capture window, so that way when I do monitor capture on OBS, um, this window is always in the same position when you hit maximize, so even if I like moved it around and hit maximize again, it would be in the same spot. And I'll show you why in a second. So over on this end, or this monitor rather, number two, we've got um, my internet browser opened up with my, um, with my Twitch TV uh, channel. So I can see if the video's playing and monitor the chat and respond to people. And then uh, here's OBS. And as you can see, I've got some presets. So right here, what I have selected is my uh, what does that say? Console capture. And the main thing you want to use, as you can see, is uh, monitor capture. So basically what you do to create a profile is you right click here and click left click add scene. And then over here you left or right click and pick add monitor capture. But since I already have one, we'll just leave that. And once that's up, you go to the properties of it. Zoom back a bit. And uh here you go. So we're capturing monitor number one, which is my HDTV. And uh, you want to pick this option, subregion, check that. And then once that's checked, hit select region. And you'll see what happens when you hit select region. So over here, a little selection box appears of where you want, um, what part of the monitor you want to capture and I've already set it up as you can see to perfectly fit the preview window of Hapage Capture and since this monitor is running 1080p the pixel count on this region is pretty high you can see size 1509 by 849 which isn't exactly an even um, resolution it's not like but I can downscale this to 720p for uh, for the OBS's upload to Twitch. Let me see if I can. So we'll just hit OK once that's selected, and we'll go into OBS settings. And uh, I guess we'll go to. This will start with video. So as you can see, I got the resolution downscaled to 1280 by 720p. That way, even though what I'm capturing over here is, an, is a weird resolution, it'll always go down to 720p. And, uh, let's see. Right now I'm just using uh, 2500 max bitrate for the encoding setting and uh, I guess for audio we'll show I've got my microphone and one thing you want to do 
this this reminds me you see I've got desktop boost and mic boost at a multiple of three and the reason I do this is for some reason OBS um, at default volume is really low especially over here because basically we're capturing and I'll zoom in we're capturing the preview windows audio you can see that audio slider right there so make sure that this is not muted because if it's muted then OBS won't pick up any sound from your game so back to over to here that's why we have the desktop volume boosted because that preview window is not very loud and it just sounds way too quiet so I would say about three is a good setting and another thing I've got the mic offset at 2000 milliseconds that's how much delay is on your microphone and the reason I delay it is because this preview window over here um, when this gets captured by OBS there's a mic delay like when I speak I speak sooner than the video gets uploaded so that's why you have to delay your microphone volume and I found uh, 2000 milliseconds is a good delay that matches up pretty well with the video hopefully all this isn't confusing you guys I'll show you in a second how it all works I think I've covered the basics and uh, I put my default mic volume well in my system at about 50 percent and on OBS I put the mic volume at a hundred and the game volume let's see I think it's at like that's at 70 percent that way the mic is nice and clear as well as the game audio but the mic is a little bit louder um, but you can adjust that to your liking it's not a big deal so anyways now that we've got OBS capturing the correct portion of the preview window the audio is enabled and properly boosted and the microphone is delayed by basically two seconds and uh, hopefully you got your twitch info entered in the settings and broadcast settings so yeah I got my account in there so anyways that's all set so let's go ahead and preview right now oh now as you can see this is another thing you'll have to adjust since we're capturing such a weird resolution on the first monitor what we're gonna have to do is go down here to edit scene and what this allows you to do is grab this portion that we're capturing and move it around so basically we want to match this red corner up to there well first let's take this bottom corner and shrink it down that way the whole thing fits in our 720p and then let's stretch this out so this is nice and lined up like that's good so now it's perfectly centered in our 720p upload window and then we can click edit scene to stop so now our scenes all centered up we can stop previewing now let's just do the real thing now we hit start streaming and uh, I'm gonna mute my mic volume cuz it'll just double up the game audio and speaking of that while you're playing the game it's best to use headphones while you're live streaming because then the game audio will be echoed twice and it'll just sound terrible so anyways we've got this ready to go let's start streaming so now it's streaming 
And once it's streaming, here, I'll just back this up. Oh, and make sure, another thing, if you're monitoring the uh, game on your Twitch TV, make sure to mute the stream, or else um, OBS will pick up your desktop volume twice, and you don't want that because it'll totally ruin the audio. Because, remember, OBS is capturing all the monitor from your computer, so if you're playing both this one's audio and this one's audio at the same time, then we're going to have bad echo and it's going to ruin it. So make sure this is muted. Okay. So as you can see, now we're live. And this is muted so OBS isn't picking up any of the volume. So once we're live, what I do is I switch my TV over to the actual game. Which is being, you know transferred through the HD PVR's HDMI port and that way it's not delayed when I'm playing so yeah we've got that up and we've got this streaming where I can see whether it's streaming or not and I can chat with people and I can adjust settings on this on the fly like uh, now my mic's on and you can see right here, this is the game audio, and you can see my voice, the bar is going slightly higher than the game audio. So that's a good audio balance right there. So anyways, I think that's a pretty good explanation, and you just stream away. So hopefully this works for you guys, because, yeah, obviously the Stream EEZ software included with the HD PVR2 is pretty crappy. So this is a great workaround. It's been working for me just fine. So I hope this video helps you guys out and leave a comment if it worked for you so I can know, you know, if I help someone out. And yeah, that's it for me right now. Hope you enjoyed and hope this helped. All right, later everyone.